Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another garden project. So today we are planting tulip bulbs. <laughs> so if you caught the last video over at mom's house where we planted her daffodils, the system is virtually the same. They are very, very, very similar bulbs. In the south, especially in our zone 8B, they do need cold time, which we don't get. So my brother actually put them in his mini fridge for me because fruits and vegetables, the gases they emit will cause your bulbs not to bloom. So they need to be in a cold place like a refrigerator for 12 weeks, but you can't have fruits or vegetables. He luckily had a mini fridge that fit that bill. Um, so mine have been chilled and you can see they are starting to sprout. So that is good. That means they are ready to be planted. So we're going to plant them three to five inches deep. We're gonna do about <coughs> 10 to a hole. I want about big groupings and we're just going to kind of plant them. They get 12 to 24 inches tall. So behind the pansies, we just had that big freeze. So a lot of my stuff looks really ratty, but it will bounce back or it won't. We're going to plant the tulips anyway. So I have two kind. I have this pink variety. That's just a standard tulip um, in different pinks. And then I have this double variety which is pinks and purples so i don't know what do you think mom should i plant some separate places or should i hook them all together no it's separate places every other one so i've got two bags of these and two bags of these so we'll do 10 and then 10 princess i know it's mushy but don't dance on it i've got my mom and my brother here to help so that it will go quickly one will dig the holes, one will plant the bulbs, and the other will cover them up and or some version of that. But we're going to get started because we're all hungry and tired after doing mom's bulbs. Let's go. All right, y'all, so you get the idea. Dig your hole. You're gonna put your bulb in. This is a tulip bulb. So pointy side up, roots at the bottom. You wanna put it three to five inches deep, cover it up with soil, and then I'll cover mine with leaves. And then once we've done that, we'll water them in and wait for spring. Dun -da -dun. All right, so everything's done. We've got a swoop right here behind the pansies. Got another swoop back here behind the ranunculus. It's always best to plant them kind of in clusters because that's how tulips grow naturally, but it's a little hard sometimes. Got another swoop here, which will be interesting because the foxgloves get taller than the tulips, but the foxgloves are really like tall and thin and airy and with the ranunculus all here they had to go behind and then last but not least we have a swoop right in here still obviously gonna have to redo the window boxes the freeze really biddy the freeze took everything out didn't it biddy says not me i was inside where it was warm between me mom and will it went really fast and then we've got a few clusters in here around the mums. Do you know anything about ornamental kale and cabbage? Please leave a comment down below as to whether I should pull these out because I know they are less than hardy, they're annuals. And so in that frost, the freeze, some of them like this little one is fine. But some of the big ones, to me, that just looks dead and needs to be removed. But maybe I just need to remove the mushy parts. Let me know. Either way, I did a whole swoop or ribbon behind the pansies in front of the cabbage. And then 
this whole area here will be foxgloves. And I have a whole swoosh of ranunculus through here too. Last for this area, I've got two little groups of tulips here. Huh, Biddy? Biddy says there's one right there. And then right here, right on the other side of my oak leaf hydrangea, and up by the car. Everything is a bit uh, in a state of funk right now with the freeze, but come spring, I think it's going to be really pretty. And sometimes that's all you can do is just prep things for spring. So we are going to call it a day and go get some lunch. So we will see y'all in the next video. And if you want to check out how the tulips look, come back in spring. I will show you. Bye.